chance of hanging. And take the tails when you're flipping the quarter. We ain't slowing down, we crashing through the border. border, border, border. When you feel it in your soul, lift the sound system. Let's turn it up, up a little louder. Turn it up, up a little louder. Turn it up. We never turn it down. Universal sound when we move the pound. Take a look around when we touch the town. Not the way something in my big black J's. Corny, corny, corny. Get stuck in the maze. We never suffer fools. Had enough of you. False friends and loose ends make me wanna be one fool. fool. That we got another world tour, touching every shore from Cali to Singapore. Every day I'm seeing more, I'm seeing more in the temple as we rock up temple. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight we polish off week 10 with a good Monday night matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. going to throw it right away. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there and it's a first down. Pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 23. Willis looking to throw on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. These two teams, they met earlier in the season in Philly with the Eagles winning that ball game. So they're trying to win here in Philadelphia to capture the season series. 60 bases, 60 bases. To throw again on second down. Willis. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. Hassan Reddick able to record his fifth sack of the season. And that's the first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Willis now off the play fake. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. And it's 3-0 Washington. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. 
And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And the tackle by Kalen Barnes. I tell you what, CD, this Washington defense, very strong in the victory last week. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run it again with Chubb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. But first down, Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis. And the Commanders are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Now Willis on first and ten. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Well, and that'll be incomplete. Well, they took a shot as he let that go, and it's going to bring up a third down. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. And he finds McLaurin. 
And he's going to have a commander's first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. To the air on first down, here's Willis. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Willis's throw taken in by Samuel. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Let's go. After one, 7 3, the score on EA Sports. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hands it off out of the gun. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Well, they need him two. They can only get one. Fourth down. Fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Tyler Beatty with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. offense set to begin their next drive as the offense comes out here Charles uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high so maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here. A long way to go. Ready. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Here's Hurts to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to 
throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And this is caught, but they say out of bounds. It would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe some explanations. To throw on second and six, Willis. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, last game he had two sacks, got another one here, picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Willis, fourth down here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Flushed out right. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. A good pick up there, 21 yards. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Here's Chubb on the read option. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is now 14-10. Touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here. Down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Now Willis on first and ten. 
This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First and 10, it's Willis. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come back and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 59 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Ball at the nine on second and eight. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. That will be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. down Willis touchdown Washington Donald Perrin from three yards out and the commanders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half I'll let you do the analysis partner but with every touchdown pass as young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had I just continue to be more and more impressed let's both do the analysis impressed aren't we both yeah I mean and why shouldn't we be we've seen him improve throughout the year we've seen him settle in now and you can see the confidence of the team has grown his confidence has grown I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And he's given guys a shot from late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more an unfortunate sequence there trying to get points before intermission but now the interception and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead yeah they had an opportunity there and they weren't able to capitalize on it. and that's something that could come back and haunt them later they're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. 
but they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. On second and ten, Willis. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. To the air on first down, here's Willis. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Last play of the half, here's Willis. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great play there as time expires in the first half. And the Commanders will extend their lead on the final play of the half. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard. But they're definitely opportunities now. Because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it. And I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Chubb. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Chubb again. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Chubb. And Chubb fighting, but nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped short of that first down marker. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. Touchdown, Eagles! Nick Chubb, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are back within a score. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Now, 
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. First and 10, Willis. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Again, it's Willis to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. This a second and seven from the 37. Second down, here's Willis. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now Willis on third down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He'll get it inside the 20, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. From the gun, they'll try to run it, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. This to swell the lead to six. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Commanders will add to their fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. He's got Watkins on the out route. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. Play fake. Here's Hurts. Now he'll escape to his left. And he dives his way forward to right around the line of scrimmage. So nothing there that time. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. They go with Chubb on second down. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Let's go. 
Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Yeah, yeah. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. On any running play this call, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juiced. And the Commanders are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. 
So a victory here for the Commanders. And I tell you, these division games never <laughs> for the faint of heart, but they come through with a tight victory here on the road. And you find yourself working harder in a game like this too, don't you? The because you got to stay sweat. with it, right? You got to stay with it. You got to stay locked in. It's our type of a game. And you just mentioned it. Division game on the road, tight, and they find a way to win it. Way to hunker down, as my old coach used to say, and find your way through. So for Washington, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to 7-3. and three. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you.